In this video, I'm going to share with you the best way to beat man coverage in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I do videos like this every single day to help you become a better Madden player. Today, we're talking about a concept out of Trips Tied In that is a really, really good man beater. Um, it's a variation of the play inside cross. If you don't have Hot Route Master, just use the play inside cross. Um, and it will work just fine. But we're gonna show this out of PE Counter Go because we do have Hot Rod Master and it's just it's just helpful. You don't honestly really need it. It's just so that you can put the skinny post to the left. So uh, anyways, PE Counter Go to trip side in. We do have inside cross if you don't have Hot Rod Master. And then the thing that I wanna quickly uh, reiterate with you guys, I'm gonna give you two setups in this video. If you want to get my full Trips Tied In ebook, I've got a massive Trips Tied In ebook this year, and it's available by joining my Patreon membership. By joining my Patreon, you're going to get access to all uh, 20 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to get access to that, again, there's a link in the description. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for the membership, and you also get every uh, weekly update that we do where we basically just kind of share the meta, what's going on, and and kind of give you guys some tools. Um, it, it's kind of just like essentially pro tips or uh, just a little bit deeper insight into the game. So that being said, let's take a look at this concept. So the first thing that I wanna point out is if you're playing someone that's running a lot of man coverage, these rounded out routes this year, and they've been good for years, but this is a really good route. As you can see right there, it, it just, it beats man to man um very consistently now another route that beats man-to-man -man really well is the corner route out of verticals so you'll see here this is the play verticals just that sharp corner route to the tight end those two routes together are very consistent for beating man and so what it causes your opponent to have to do is they have to purple this defender um on that side of the field so you'll see here and i can still throw this with a low ball but as you can see that purple makes it a little bit more difficult okay so they have to purple, if they're gonna play man, they're gonna to have to play man in a purple on the tight end. So as you kind of evolve this, you wanna say like, okay, they have to do this to stop this, they have to do this to stop this, and that's gonna open up this, right? So that's kind of step A, is that we wanna force them to respect the fact that our tight end is a really good man beating route, and so is our running back for that matter. So the first step to doing that is just simply smart route this route. If you want to, you don't have to, and you're going to use this route to really get them having to kind of favor their favor that side of the field. It's real easy. Um, it's a great play for beating man. Okay. And this will also, by the way, um, it, it does decent against match. Um, see how see how it kind of beats that to the sideline. So it's good against match if that's if that's what they're you know trying to kind of do a little trick with that or whatever. But. So they have to purple, um, they have to purple somebody over here. Okay, so the next thing that I like to do is have some kind of threat um, if there's nobody in the middle of the field. Okay, so in this example, we're going to put our uh, Mike Evans on a smart routed post um, to that side of the field. And what you're going to see here is this is going to create a two man read between this out route to Miller and the post uh, over the top. So if their safety is in a purple like this, then you're going to try to hit your skinny post. So you see, boom, and then post over the top. If they have a deep half, which most people don't do that, but if for whatever reason you're playing someone that does have a deep half over the top, the skinny post will also win, um, generally speaking, will win over the middle of the field. So let's show it again. And you'll see he beats him. Okay. So that's kind of our key thing. So to stop that, what they have to do is they have to purple the, the right side. And they have to inside third the, the trip side. Okay. Now. Uh, don't worry too much about triangle yet. We're going to come back to that in just a second, but I just want to show you the post. So once the post kind of crosses the face of the inside third, you see he's still able to be thrown, but it's not really that good. Okay. 
So those are some adjustments that they're going to have to make in their coverage. They're going to have to have somebody over here for the tight end. They're going to have to have somebody over here for the post. And then this is where we can really start to mess with people, okay? Because now, by having this skinny post, I can do several different things from a passing perspective. One of those things that I can do is a zig to Godwin and a slant to Miller. And what I like to do with this is motion Miller to the left and let him actually set his feet. In my opinion, the way this game works, it's actually uh, not good if they, if they set their feet. So you'll see he runs and normally will beat man underneath into that side of the field. So now it's the same basic concept where they have to um, purple over here to stop that. So maybe they do it like this and then they have an inside third here and then they have a purple here. And now of course the running back is, is you know, really who we're, who we're coming back to in this, in this setup. So the next thing that you can do with this is let's say that you get to this point and they're doing pretty good at, um, you know, at covering you. What you, another thing that you can do is a shallow cross style of play. And basically what that is, is we're going to drag Scotty Miller and we're going to smart route it in Godwin. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a high low over the middle of the field. And a lot of times this route to Godwin is going to be good. And why is that route going to be good? Because they're going to pull the, the, guy out of the middle of the field so now you have something that looks kind of like this where you have two purples and a third pretty decent coverage by uh by and large but because of this route to the tight end we know it beats man we also know it's going to pull routes out of the way we could do something like this and motion and snap the slant now this i would recommend snapping while he's in motion just because he's going to get underneath a little better but now you see you have those two routes underneath and then also you have this route over the top if it does get some separation. So that's kind of how I would I would kind of work some of these concepts. Um, and this is why I said inside cross is a great variation of this because we just simply smart route there. Now, if we don't want to run any motion, we don't have to. Um, one of my favorite motions though would be to wheel the running back, slant Godwin, and then smart route the two receivers on the left. Motion this guy over, snap about right here. Now I've got the drag, I've got the slant, and then I've got this dig coming over the middle. So those are two really effective concepts for uh, beating man. And then I wanna give you one other one while I'm thinking about it. So now they don't deep half over on the left side, right? So something that I like to do is fade or streak Scotty Miller, slant Evans, zig Godwin, and then post the tight end. What you'll see in this regard is a lot of times you'll get this kind of little natural mesh or pick action, and you can lob this over the top. Um, and if you have a fast receiver, a lot of times it will get over the top. Now, New England's corners are really fast, so it can be a little problematic. But I have seen this be very successful um, against press man. Another thing you could try is like a flat to, to Godwin. Um, and what you'll see is they just kind of bump into each other. If it's not open, just check it down to the post or hit the slant on the other side of the field. Um, but, but to me, these are really good plays uh, for you guys because again, they have to do basically this. And another little trick of the trade that we can do that I like to do is if you have a hot route master, you can motion Miller to the right, or uh, I'm sorry, to the left. And then we could run a shallow game. So it looks kind of like this, if you will. And then you're just gonna smart route this once he gets over here. And what you'll see is if it's pressed, a lot of times you can kind of throw an inside pass lead and cut it off. You could snap it in motion to kind of get it off of a jam. Those are other ways that you can, again, because again, we're trying to force him to deep half. Now, last little piece of this, is I wanted to come back to this out route um, to Scotty Miller. Okay, so what we can do off of this is we can simply drag uh, Godwin and then we're going to in route our tight end. So you see it looks kind of like this and then what I like to do is motion the tight end to the outside and we're gonna leave this fade. This is again more so for man coverage. 
Um, but what you'll see is this fade is really good against press man. A lot of times you can kind of do a little rack catch like that, get it over the top of the defense. To me, that's a fairly simple lob. If they're, especially if they're shading, you know, if they're shading their coverage down, this fade, if you have any, you know, any um, ability to click on and make a user catch, just a little swerve rack, very effective. But the other thing that I really wanted to emphasize is the shallow cross um the shallow crossing concept so what we could easily uh do is drag our tight end because we know he's not going to get jammed and then you could leave this um you know you for example you could leave this little dig here um or not dig but this fade and then what you can do is you can motion over this dig and you can kind of snap it in motion and it's a really late read so your drag no crosser no and then you have your dig but what the crosser allows is again, now they can't, because again, you see what we're doing? They can't quite get everywhere. And that's what beating man is in this game. And it's what beating man is in every year of Madden is that we're just trying to kind of force them into a defense like this and then take advantage of everything that's open as a result of that. Um, most of the time, the smart routed in is one of the best man beating principles and it can be from anything. So. You know, if you wanted to um, post your tight end, uh, maybe you want to drag, um, you know, Scotty Miller, and then you want to, or uh, I'm sorry, let me reset that. Post the tight end, motion Scotty Miller to the right, drag Godwin or slant him. Um, you know, then you can get something that looks kind of like this. This is a pretty good little man beater because you have those two crossing routes and you have the fade on the outside. And again, if they're not on, if they're if they're not inside 30, then you can put the fade um, you can put the fade on a, you know, skinny post and you could do this from all of this you could do from inside cross if you wanted to. Um, and then of course, if you wanted to block your tight end, you could put your running back on a flat and you could just do something like this. This is a real simple press man beater, very good man beater. Um, because we have a high low on the left we have the dig and the post concept in the middle so you see here out route to corner to dig so those are some simple ways that you can beat man from trips tight end really good offense and if you want to learn the rest of my trips tight end offensive ebook there's a link in the description you can get that guide for just ten dollars uh, by joining our patreon you get all of our ebooks and we've got over 20 offensive and defensive guides in the membership. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time.